Hello, it's Mark Matoshwich here from Markham3D.com and OzzysandDragons.com. I have now been using Unreal for about three weeks, four weeks maybe. Um, I'm semi-confident I might be able to make a mini game, but let's see if I can do it uh, under 10 minutes. If I go over, oh well. Um, but let's go. Uh, first person. And I'm... I'm not going to start the timer just yet. Uh, we'll call this 10 min game. Ah, oh, get stuffed. Uh, Alright, fine. 10 min game. Okay, create project. Awesome. Is anything happening? Alright. I'm going to start this challenge once this thing loads up. And I'm just going to use the basic starter content and see what we can pull out. Hopefully. Hopefully. I've got ideas. All right. So let's start. Let's get rid of... Let's just clear... Actually, let's not clear some stuff. So first up's first. Um, okay. So I'm going to scale this. And what I'm just going to do quickly is make a room. Alt. Um, oh, geez, come on. Alt. Let's rotate this. Beautiful. 90 degrees. Come on. 90 degrees. Come on. All right. So what I need to do is do a doorway. Jeez, um, oh, I know that I should be able to bevel stuff, but I'm not going to quickly because I actually haven't learnt that so I'm just going to rough it like this come on move that over move that over okay this can be my door Let's, come on ah scale where is it there it is okay so this is my door scale a little bit more okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make this let's pick up these uh, pieces uh, blueprints Convert, create a folder, new folder, um, game, double click on that, okay, uh, room BP, create blueprint, come on, I don't have time, um, don't need a floor, so this is our door, I'm just going to add in a cylinder, that's really weird, let's pump that out to the top, no, 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 just attach, Cylinder one, 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 one. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this the door hinge. Okay, let's. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's this door? Okay, cylinder come back. Get out of here, you to me. Okay, oh, I'm wasting precious time. Okay. Okay, move that over a little bit more. Beautiful. So that's going to be our hinge. So I need to parent that to that because then when that rotates, beautiful. Graph. Okay. Delete. I want to do... Uh, go back. We need to put a trigger box in. Uh, box. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. So we enter that space. Compile. Okay. So um, where's my components box? On begin overlap. We want to enable input, and we will go get player controller done. Okay. So and. While we're up here, let's go on event overlap, uh, end overlap, disable input. Okay, bring that down there. Okay, next thing, let's go E. So when I press the E key, when I press the E key, oh gosh, come on, work with me. Uh, in, input. 
E, this isn't working too well. Okay, here we go. Okay, when it's pressed, I want to branch it out on the condition. Open. Let's make a variable. Uh, open door. Okay. Get on condition. When that's true, the door will open. So first, let's go over to the timeline, add a timeline. Oh, come on, double click on that. Create a float. Um, I'm going to add there this zero, zero. And then here, add another one at time one. We've got 90 degrees and we've got one second. If I press F key, someone told me, Hang on. Beautiful, 90 degrees, okay. Safe. Go back into event graph, so that's our timeline. And we want to set relative transfer location, no set relative rotation to cylinder because the cylinder will rotate and that's the parent. Sweet, um, let's go make rotator, not the X we want to do it to the Z axis, return value, oh, get in there, return value. Um, what are we gonna do? So when it's less than one, we're going to set the door. Is that right? I think so. And let's do event tick on event tick get in there okay so when we press e true it'll play um, on false we want to play the reverse da -da 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 -da. okay um, uh, play oh where's my screen okay dump it in there play okay oh I'm gonna say that's wrong let's just test that again quickly come on come on come on come on okay why is that going so that's going minus what if what okay let's go reverse reverse is that gonna work <laughs> the quick fix ah, i hate you with a passion you jerk okay play reverse Compile. I bet you it's got some weird stop. Does this cylinder have weird rotation? Let's go zero, compile, save, play. Oh my goodness, I'm wasting time on a stinking door. Okay, that's not what I want. Okay, so let's bring that cylinder back to 90. Okay, so what's happening? Um, let's it goes from a value okay well, let's try 90 to 180 compile play yeah whatever's good enough i don't care right now okay um so we've got this blueprint let's come over here and i'm going to rotate let's go duplicate duplicate delete and i will duplicate this one ah. okay go away we're getting there slowly but surely all right, six rooms should be enough for now. Um, the other thing, so what I'm going to do is going to put a random object in each one. So on, let's go into back into that event graph, branch, true. So when it's true, I want it to do, I need to create another variable on the, let's just quickly put it in blueprint. 
first person first person character and I am just going to add in a variable in here um, door open op opened count and set that to a integer compile save first person character okay back to our blueprint over here cast first person character uh, object is character get character porn oh man I hate this okay maybe porn uh, get player porn that sounds about right uh, set open door no 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 it's not a boolean what did I say set open door uh, no nope, that's the wrong one so that's open door incorrect um, dang it uh, open door counter jeez louise come on work with me okay back into here set open door counter uh, I actually never use this okay <laughs> open counter um, one ah geez can't get this working uh, let's try something else then um, open door counter again let's see if this works open door counter nope uh, open set open door count gosh dang it open door counter enter integer compile open door counter okay beautiful um, put it in here let's get a math node integer plus an integer uh, open door counter plus one um, can I oh, print string hello um, let's plug that in there compile will it work okay okay all right so if I walk over here one nope nope okay okay it's just one 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 that's not what I want Why isn't that working? Why isn't it just going one, 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 one? Uh, far out. Far out. Okay. Let's. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe if I dump it. Maybe if I dump it in here. Print string. Uh, no, that's not going to work here. Okay. Compile. Play. Okay, that's fine. Two. Two. No, 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 no. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, far out. Sacre bleu. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. Maybe if I do here. Print string. What does it say here? Compile. Save. Two, okay, it's fine. Why are you not adding? Why are you not working now? How oh, far out? Uh, oh, that's because it's not here. Oh, jeez Louise. Encounters. I don't know. I don't know. Doors are all opening. Anyway, okay, well, I don't have much time. Let's go into the next bit and target points. So I need target point here, target point here, oh, target point here, come on, come on. Four, okay, awesome. Okay, so let's quickly go back into game. Um, I want to create another blueprint, an actor, and this is gonna be key. 
come into here. Uh, severe. Give me a severe. Beautiful. Uh, cool. Just let, let's just leave it at that. I've called it key. Let's go into the first person example map. That's this one. Okay, so I want to get those six target points, bring them all in here. Let's create an array. Make array. Sick. And let's go in here. No, oh, how do I? Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Four, five. Okay. There we go. 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 Okay. And event begin play. I'm going to. Oh, jeez. Come on. Back up here. Back up here. Pick up your game. Spawn. A actor from class and let's select this and we'll go key that one um, let's go maybe get copy uh-huh 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 and then array array uh, random 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 oh my goodness come on Maybe random integer oh, range, random integer range. So we've got zero to five. Okay. And uh, get from here, let's go get actor transformation. That looks about right. Spawn location, compile. Whew, let's see what happens. Okay, so technically, I'm looking for a ball. Ole, a ball. Good. Good. Excellent. And there's our mini game. All about finding the ball. Play again. Good. Oh, come on. Sick. There we go. There's our ball. Yay. Unfortunately, I don't have final screen, but done. That's our game. So I tried to create that uh, variable to create track of how many guesses I've had, but I failed. Um, judging by the time, I think I failed quite dramatically on this. But oh well. Uh, please hit subscribe and yeah.